Alrighty, boys. It's that time. It's that time. I've scanned through this uh, thread, and I've decided this is one of those oh, spicy, spicy content that riles people up. Um, <clears throat> today was the day that I uploaded uh, the video that I, where I got a little bit political, and people were, were you know, some people were upset. Some people were like, oh, you're based. This is... Listen, it's a conversation at the end of the day. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But, uh, yeah, we got another uh, very, uh, <laughs> this is going to be a good title for me to put on YouTube as well. So how is Terror Worlds getting away with this? And we have some uh, familiar characters in this uh, plot line. And uh, you love to see it. Like always, this is entertainment. This is not... If I try to say something, this is based on, this is a response to the person's, uh, what's it called, post on the forums. This is nothing going towards them directly. Just I like to throw that out there so people don't get too offended or anything like that because I've had that in the past. Just it's, inter it's entertainment. We can have different opinions. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. But all right, let's do it. <clears throat> All right, so uh, he starts off by saying, I know the title sounds bad, but hear me out because I'm going full conspiracy mode here. Yes, sir. For those following both the progress of the game and developer responses, many may be familiar with the phrase too complex. Okay, okay. True, true, true. They have said that a couple times. Okay, okay. Taking that in mind, and any of you follow the Nexus or are aware of modders in this forum, many may have noticed the number of very complex mods that modders create with an arm tied behind their back. Ah, you kind of lost me. You kind of lost me. Uh, I have looked at the Nexus a couple times, and um, and we also saw the huge overhaul mod creators actually post that they can't really create super, super complex mods because obviously the modding tools, there's problems with it, and the devs have responded and said that they are going to try to work with them, so hopefully that does happen. But you kind of lost me there. I, I haven't seen too many complex mods. I've seen some cool mods, and I've seen some mods that have actually, you know, <clears throat> broken through. But, um, okay, okay, let's continue. With these points in mind, let me quote the first two paragraphs of the reason for EA from Tale Worlds directly. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is on the Steam. Uh, they say, early access is something that we are familiar with. Our first title, Mind Blade. Helped pioneer this method of release back in 2005. By working alongside our community, we were able to deliver a unique gaming experience that players still enjoy to this day. Uh, these past uh, experiences have taught us that it is vital to bring players in to help us iron out any issues and refine the game by utilizing feedback to bring it to the level that both our community and we expect. Okay, okay. We are hoping to run a productive and efficient early access for Mount Blade Bandlord as well. However, due to the nature and scale of the game that we have envisioned, there may be various problems or missing features and content during the course of early access. True, true, true. Well, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sneeze real quick. That sneeze turned into a cough. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. All right. So he continues saying, um, well, quote, end for whatever they were saying over there, right? Um, you know, they have to say, the, you know, it's early access. You know what time it is. We've done it before. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right, and um, he continues by saying, now at the beginning of EA, the statement made sense. Made sense. Now, however, okay, okay, okay. Between their initial estimates of one year in EA and the delivery of content within the time frame, the numbers just aren't adding up anymore. Well, sir, uh, if you continue reading in that same paragraph, they stated that they will push that back if needed so. So, and they also did make a post recently where they said, yes, we are pushing this back a couple more months. So therefore, there you go. But all right, let's continue. Let me be clear that I personally don't care that they didn't meet their estimates. That is my point. Well, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, that's not his point. I'm not gonna stick on it. Let's, let's, let's keep going. My point is that, from what we know, the direction of the game heavily implies that it isn't planned to be complex at all, which begs the question, what was the need for EA? Well, the need for EA... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Control F, complex... My point is that we know the direction of the game heavily implies that it isn't planned to be 
that complex at all. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'm just sticking to words. That's fine. That's fine. But okay, so for this question, what was the need for EA? Well, it's a matter of opinion of what you think is complex and what is not complex. Like for me, the prison break system is complex, but it's very it looks very um vanilla if you're playing it, but I'm pretty sure to code it to make all that stuff happen, it's a little bit complex of a system, you know what I mean? I think the overall system of how battles work is complex. I think the overall system of a lot of things that work in Mount Blade are complex. But they don't look complex to the player, but I'm pretty sure if you looked if you took a good look at the code, I'm pretty sure you know the code would be a little bit complex. But at the same time, I, I understand there are some stuff that people want that isn't currently in the game. There's also a mod right now out um, with ships. What is it? I it starts with a B. I forgot the name exactly. But um, you know they're kind of you know they're adding stuff to the game that um, you know the the devs have decided to not put into the game. So uh, you know I, I understand where these questions are coming from. But uh, what was the need for EA? You know, just you know, progress the game progression. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, well, that's such a weird question. What was the need for EA? It's like they added features to it. They balanced it out. The performance got a lot better. You know what I mean? They worked on the game. That was the part. That was pretty much the need for EA. Like, it's just I don't know. That's a good. That's a, that's a very. Uh, it's like it's like a very easy answer for it to work on the game, right? But okay, you got me. Um. Maybe I'm being too far. Maybe I'm being far too pessimistic. But as mentioned above, suggested community features that uh, Tail Worlds deem too complex or outright ignore are making their way into the nexus by modders who work in their free time. Well, okay. You have to understand this also. Just because something is not in the game, that doesn't mean it, it. It's because the developers can't do it or it's too complex. Sometimes it just the developers thought it didn't fit into. You know what I mean? Their goal of a game. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't fit into their vision, or sometimes it just. You know what I mean? It just. Someone said no. People agreed, and they just went with that. You know what I mean? And I know it sucks, but it's it's not the only reason for something being too complex. Is the only reason that you know they stated, "Hey, we're not doing this because it's too complex." Like I don't think that's the only reason. You know what I mean? But um. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is a far. Maybe this is a take that a lot of people might not have. But I don't mind the fact that. I think if at the end of the day, we get all the content that we want, regardless if it's uh, all in the vanilla game or if it's partially vanilla, partially modded. I feel like if we get there in the end, what's the problem? Do you know what I'm trying to say? And I know people are going to be like, oh, but, you know, they should have done it. The devs should have done it. Not these people who are, you know, who are working in their free time. All right, bro, then go pay them, bro. You know what I'm saying? What you want me to say? I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like people, people are being a little bit too critical. And I think he's talking about this mod where uh, they add the ships, to be honest with you. And in my opinion, here's the thing. I think it's great that someone made a mod for it. I think it's great. You know what I mean? Should have been in the game? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. You know what I mean? We're, we don't live in that time, time, uh, what you call it. What can I say? How, how can I say this? We don't know if it would have been good or bad, if that kind of makes sense, right? But um, I still think it's good that the mod came out, and I think it's a great addition, regardless if it's a mod or it's in the vanilla game. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a take that people uh, aren't going to agree on, but I feel like regardless of how we get there, if we get there, then we made it. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay. Let me continue. Coming back to the topic sentence, how is it that Terrorworlds is able to charge... Oh my god. This whole price tag discussion, bro. Isn't it like $40? That's not even AAA. Isn't AAA $60? And it isn't like a lot of the AAA companies like talking about like... Like in the beginning of... um not beginning, kind of like that towards the end of 2020, weren't a lot of AAA companies talking about $70 games as well? And isn't Battlelord always on sale too? Like, I'm confused. I feel I feel like is AAA prices forty dollars? I really don't feel like that is because I've been buying video games for a very long time, and you know what I mean. Like, I guess 
for a skeletal side graded version of Warband, only to rely on free working community members to flesh it out. That's uh, okay. First of all, let's okay. Look, if Warband had no mods, would you continue playing it to this day? If Warband had no mods at all, would you continue playing to this day? Because this concept of like, you know what I mean? You being like only to rely on the free working community members to flesh it out. Okay, but then Warband, you know what I'm saying? Get like the same treatment from the, the, the free working community members to flesh it out. Why aren't you talking about that? You know what I'm trying to say? Like I get it. Some of the stuff in Warband didn't make it to Bannerlord and you're upset. I'm upset too. You know, we talked about it. You know what I mean? Feast, for example. Obviously, the siege still not being fixed. Like, there, there, there are a couple of things that I'm upset about as well. But, like, th this take of, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dog. You know what I mean? Would Warband really be the game that people still think about to this day as, like, such a great game if there were no mods from these free working community members? I think it would still be a great game. Don't get me wrong. But would it be as hyped up as it is without the mods? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe people have a different take than me, but yeah, I'm just saying. All right. Well, uh, we got another person coming in strong. They're doing the absolute bare minimum to release the game without getting sued over for zero content. That is the biggest cap, bro. Stop capping, bro. Stop capping. How many hours you got, bro? I know, I know you watch these videos, bro. How many hours you got, bro? Comment down below. How many hours do you got, bro? If it's over $40, I mean, if it's over 40 hours, bro, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You got your content. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Listen, I bet you it's very high too. Sergeant on the forums. Register, register Mount Blade. Register Warband. Register Fire and Sword. Okay. Old Guard. You got some hours, bro. I know you do. And they would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those pesky uh, modding meddling forum users. What do you mean? You acting like there's a court case right now or something like that. There's nothing. Like, there's nothing. You couldn't even bring a court case for this game. You know what I'm saying? You, like, you literally can't. For what? Like, the game works as it's supposed to. It doesn't work like a, a very famous uh, new game that was supposed to be the future. Remember that game? That game that game got sued and got removed from places for a very good reason because it really didn't work. But, no, it's such a bad take. Just because you don't like it and just because you think there's a little bit less content. It's like... Saying there's zero content, that's cap, bro. That's cap. There is content. You could literally start off as a nobody and make your way up to the kingdom leader. You know what I'm saying? And there's so much, like, there's literally hundreds of hours of gameplay right there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's such a... <sighs> Getting sued. Like, come on, dog. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. At least they're not pulling a Bethesda and trying to monetize the community-made mods by slapping your price tag onto them. Oh, mm, so this guy does not subscribe to the whole uh, concept of uh, this. See, this, this is this is this is actually he's a good case right here. Because look, usually when people have this take right over here of, you know, what I mean, like they're they're not doing the most. They're not working. They also have the take of um, that Bannerlord has taken their money and now has run off or something like that. Right. Oh, OK. Conflicting ideas over here. Interesting. It is almost a scam. Okay, okay. Terrorworlds ha haven't accepted feedback in an organized form and progress is so minimal. Okay, okay, okay. The game hasn't developed in organized form. Your reviews are 98% positive. Game review companies are partially to blame. They hype every game for clicks. How do none of them see this train wreck? You know, have you ever thought about it? Maybe people enjoy the game. You ever thought about it? Even that game that I just talked about, the game that was literally unplayable for some consoles. You know which game I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Wake up, Samurai. You know what I'm saying? That game. Even that game people liked. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was... I kind of liked it. Okay, look, look, look. Here, here's what I'm going to say about that game. Real quick. I liked it while I was playing the story. After that, train wreck. You know what I'm saying? And... um. And for especially for council, I don't have it on council, but for council, it was not playable. So yes, that that was a real big problem. But but the, like Banner Lord, it's like it's it's a good game, bro. It's a good game. Like I don't know, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Like it's good. 
You know what I mean? It doesn't have all the features that Warband has, yes. But does that mean it's automatically bad? No. I had a good time, you know what I'm saying? I still have a good time. And with all the new mods coming out, I'm having a really good time. So it's like, ah. This is an opinion-based thing, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's almost a scam. It has 98% positive... Yeah, but it's not only game review companies. If you go on Steam, it has a very what? What is it? I don't know what the percentage is on Steam, but it's it's very positive. You know what I mean? So it might just be your opinion. You know. Uh, what else we got? Oh, here we go, bro. The, uh, the takes right here. Bring players in to help us iron out any issues. Free QA testing for bug. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So first, the forums wants more communication. They want the developers to work with the players to make better changes. But if they do that, then they're just free labor, which is also wrong, which is also bad. Do you see where I'm going with this? No matter what, it's always bad. No matter what, there's always complaints. Now that's tough. That's tough. But that's what it is. That's just, as you can see, that is what it is. Refine the game by using uh, feedback, using your save to save us time and recreating the bug bugs you report. Ah. So there's actually a problem with actually, you know, having an efficient way to actually uh, find bugs. That's a problem now. Now it's a problem to have an efficient way of finding bugs because that's too easy. We make your job too easy. And we should not do that. We should make your job harder. Is that the take? Is that the take we're having here? Come on. Come on now. Do better. Do better. Uh, let's see. I'm really hoping that too complicated is just temporary while they work on the base game. Although it does not seem... Although it does seem they just don't want players to have the control and player agency most of us seem to want what do you mean you just contradicted yourself in the same post bro y'all proofread y'all stuff before you post it on the forums do you guys proofread you're complaining how you don't want the players to be utilized as free labor for the devs but then you say that you that you're that you're for a player agency and to have more control which one is it do you want to be involved or do you not want to be involved? What is going on? Bro, I'm... I don't know what... <laughs> How you fight in a battle on both sides, man? You fight in a battle, like, just against, like, yourself. You know what I mean? On both sides, in the same post. How does that work, man? Tell what is the point of a strategy game when you can't use your strategy? I want to be the boss. Well, you can be the boss, but uh, the devs have stated that this game is going more kind of towards an action strategy, more focus, more focus on action, which is a problem that a lot of people do have. But uh, also, a lot of people like it as well. So again, very opinionated based. The uh, previous games were a lot more strategy involved, and people like that. And that's why the, when they go to Bannerlord and they don't see as much strategy, they get upset. I understand the frustration. You know what I mean? But, you know, that is what it is. You know, while, while people might dislike it, the older people who, who played Warband a lot, I'm pretty sure people who are going into Bannerlord just, you know, straight into Bannerlord without playing the other games, they might, I'm pretty sure they're having a good time with it. You know what I mean? It's Again, it's all based on opinion. It's a playable game and it definitely has content. You know what I mean? Does it have all the content? No. no. But, you know, regardless, people do enjoy it. Probably to get money in and to get free testers. True, bro. I'm just speculating here, but maybe developing a whole game with its own engine isn't the same as hacking up a mod. I don't know what that means. Okay. My, my hope... Oh, nice, dude. My hopes have been crashed some months ago. Now I just wait for a final release so the modders can br breathe life into Bannerlord. I do not count on any improvements made by Terror Worlds. The initial time they take is just pointless and makes it harder for modders to start. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Ay, 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 ay. You know what? All right. All right. For sure. Uh, that's also true. Uh, oh, look at this guy right here. The person running the company needs to be named and shamed more often. He should be on here seeing how players are reacting to this game and make good decisions. Instead, he is completely detached. All right. Now, let me rewind the clock a little bit. Not rewind the clock. Let me... um. Because I feel like the uh, entitlement is, is, is literally at the moon right now. So let me uh, bring it back down uh, real quick. Um, this whole notion that the majority of players feel how people feel on this forum is a joke. Um, I just want to let people on this forum know. I know some of you guys watch my videos and are very upset that I uh, call this out. But um, sorry to inform you, a lot of people play this game. Do enjoy it. Um, people on the forums are usually the most toxic of them, and the most rude. And and you know, wishing something like this upon someone is um, it's not a good thing. Uh, you're, you're wishing for a person to what? Be shamed for what? Because you didn't like the game? What kind of absolute like? What's going through your head, man? What is going through your head? What if he? What what if? Okay. Let's say, let's say, for example, what if the game just, you know, released at an even, you know what I'm saying, like a, a te absolute terrible state, even though some people swear that's what happened. I don't think that's what happened. But let's say it released even worse, like there was nothing in the game at all, right? Let's say they made a mistake, something something messed up and like that. Would you would you have the same take? Would you want him to be shamed for, you know, a mistake or this thing? Like, why, 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 why would you wish this on somebody? Why would you? Why? What kind of, what, what? Gosh, that's so weird, bro. It's so weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's so weird. It makes some good decisions. This is all opinion-based. This is all opinion-based. You know what I mean? Like, what you think is right, another person might think it's completely wrong. And it's okay. You might both be right in your own ways. You know what I mean? Based upon how you think of the situation. Doesn't mean someone needs to be shamed for it because you have a different opinion. That's not how it works. That's weird. Chill. And, and lastly, it's a game. Chill. It's literally a video game. Chill. Like, people take it so seriously. It's supposed to bring entertainment. If it doesn't bring you entertainment, there's so much more video games out there in the market that could bring you entertainment. But you're out here talking about, oh, the person running this company needs to be named and shamed. For what? Making a game you don't like? That's so weird, bro. Just stop. That's weird. What they mean is too complex for councils. It's coming for councils, dog. Let's let's not spread the mis misinformation here. It's coming for councils. Oh, nice. No, they're not doing the bare minimum. They're doing less than that. If they were even doing the bare minimum for possibly, they would have fixed sieges. Have they even fixed perks yet? Yes, they have. They have fixed perks yet. There you go. Uh, crikey. <laughs> They can't even fix what they have already, let alone add more content. Ah, uh, true. People are so stuck on it. Maybe they should take that extra time to fix sieges, to be honest with you. Um, well, I dislike that the, the sieges haven't been fixed yet. They did provide a response for it. I, I wouldn't say it's the best response, but they did acknowledge it. They said that, that it was linked to a lot of other systems, and therefore, if they fixed it, it would take a very, very long time. And they thought to themselves... Let's do this at the end uh, when we have added all that stuff that we wanted to add. That was kind of like their take on it, and I was okay with it. It, it was it was it was a, a honest take. Um, while I didn't like the fact that it hasn't changed yet, I understood the take. I took it with a grain of salt. Said okay, siege is going to be messed up for a little bit longer, but people on the forums just you know, the patience never there, and this this and that never there, and just understanding is never there. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it sucks, but what can you do? You know what I mean? Like, I get it, bro. That one thing is still not fixed. I get it, bro. It ha I, I understand. But it's just like, bro, you're going to throw it on every single forum thread like this? And, 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 and then also, the people who say this, they also, like, try to state, like, they just ignore their quest. Like, no, they've un they, they have talked about it. You know what I mean? I have videos of me talking about them talking about it. It's just... 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. Oh my god, I'm not reading all this. Uh, are they planning to release the game on last gen consoles anyways? On current gen consoles? They are planning to release it on consoles. I don't know which ones exactly, but they are. Uh, I think I'm kind of done with this, to be honest with you. Huh. Yeah, that's about it. That is about it. What do you guys think about this? Are they getting away with it? What do you guys think? How are they getting away with this, man? How is it possible they cannot keep getting away with it? There, I said it. Alright, boys. Stay safe.